So why do organisations need to invest in diversity and inclusion? The findings of our national survey on diversity and inclusion can be classified into two key categories. The first includes what organisations are getting right in the diversity and inclusion space, and the second includes what organisations can do better to capitalise on the diversity and inclusion initiatives implemented at the workplace level to benefit workers. For instance, with regards to the diversity and inclusion budget, we found that for 61% of practitioners who noted that they have an adequate budget, all of them highlighted that this leads to a positive outcome in terms of business performance, attitudes to diversity and inclusion, and to the representation of diverse groups at the workplace level. Almost 40% of our practitioners indicated that they don't have an adequate budget to fulfil their role. With clear evidence of the positive business outcomes when investing in diversity and inclusion, we think this is an investment that all organisations need to review. Overall, we need to devote more energy and resources into turning diversity and inclusion around from a cost burden into a driver for business performance. Evidence from our National Diversity and Inclusion Survey goes some way to show us how we can achieve this and the gaps that need to be addressed.